The next time you hear a drum beating or a violin playing, it may not be a real instrument at all. You might be listening to computer-generated sounds from a synthesizer. A synthesizer which a decade ago, little more than an electronic toy, has become a staple of the music industry. We've had industry. stories before about musicians, some who play guitars, some who bang on the drums, others who play the horns. Well, tonight we've got a musician who doesn't have any of those instruments, but he still plays them all. There are a lot of kids in their 20s, late teens, who have mastered the technology of how to produce a song with a laptop. It's hard for them to conceive of an era where they didn't have everything at their fingertips. And Don developed a system of doing that before that technology existed. Everybody had their own idea what their synthesizer should sound like. Or maybe they didn't. It was left up to the musician. They were embracing it, they welcomed it. It's amazing how the evolution of the music on a parallel path to it is technology. The things that Don created are truths, and they are still evident today. Ah, this is a, a genius. But the union was terrified of what the future was going to be, and Don Lewis represented the future. Here I am about maybe 10, 11 years old or so, and I saw this display in the back of the store, author God for ukuleles. And I begged my grandmother, I must have hounded her for 20 minutes or so. So I got that ukulele. She was, she was dead against it because she said I would keep them up at night playing it. And I says, no, it. I says, great, look, it's got a felt tick. <laughs> You can't make very much noise with a pelvic. <laughs> My inspiration for wanting to get into synthesizers was through Walter Carlos, which later was Wendy Carlos, and switched on Bach. Jaws dropped to the floor. 
people just got all excited because of the terrific music that she created using these electronic instruments and doing things that nobody else had done before.